You said you're taking him serious. Where do you see the most dangerous aspect? The one, you know, is there a spot or a position that you think I got to be on high alert here? He has, you know, he he has a he has a real dangerous stand-up game. He has a real dangerous jiu-jitsu game. He, he's really total. He's a total package man. He really is. When I first got into the fight, I thought I don't, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. You know, cardio's in there. He's a little, a little sloppy here. You know, both of them ground the corner. You know, I know my ground upon dude. Yeah. If I get you down, man, more than likely I'm gonna finish. Yeah, but you know, as I really got into him, I'm like, you know, maybe I'm underestimating this. This guy is good. He's a total package, and uh, I'm really respecting his mind. Games. You know what I mean? He's a commentator, so he knows how to talk. He knows how to choose his words wisely, and uh, he's gonna get you up I think me and Brad Lesley sells more than me and DC at heavyweight. That's just, you know, that's really the name of the life. Is that still a fight that you would like to most? Absolutely. You know, everyone talks about me going to heavyweight. But, uh, you know, I don't have any issues with my weight cut. You know, my wife's my nutritionist. She knows what I like to eat. Uh, she knows how my body reacts to certain foods. So I really don't have problems making my like, heavyweight, but everyone's keep, you know, kind of trying to force me into this heavyweight thing as if, um, as if it has to happen, you know. I think the UFC is really good at making things happen that the fans want. And I think what they need to do is say, hey, Bones, you got some cha-ching for me. Conor McGregor's taught me a lesson, man. And you want to see it bad enough, you know, they you got the money. So, what's up, John? Perfect. you go to heavyweight, that there's no coming back to light heavyweight? No, it, there will be coming back. I can see myself competing at heavyweight, weighing about 235, nothing more. About 235, you know. And you can go between the two. Huh? And you can go between the two weights. Yeah, that'd be cool. How cool would it be if we closed that gap? You know, from light heavyweight to heavyweight is the biggest gap in the sport, right? The 225 weight class makes a lot of sense. That would open a whole different game. Yeah, interesting. So, so John, now, now knowing that DC is going to fight longer than March, which we originally thought, you're saying if in a perfect world, DC's on the table, Brock's on the table, you can pick which one. Dana says, bro, we like both these. Which one do you take? I take Brock Lesnar. I take Brock Lesnar only because he brings in a whole different audience. And people have already seen me make DC fight twice already. So, you know, I, I got nothing against this guy. Let him have his... Let him have his Heavyweight. John, was it actually John? Was it actually <laughs> Conor McGregor that inspired you to look for those money-making opportunities, or was it just the fact you're out of the cage for so long and you need to make up the money that you missed? Oh no, 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 no. But actually, I'm doing alright, man. You know, not to sound like that, but I'm doing alright. Um, just you know, Conor really introduced you know what what talking can do, and what asking can do. You know, what I mean, oftentimes I don't think of that. Like all the fighters, it's not much of an organization, and um, I just feel like you really have to know your worth. And if someone wants to have you step outside of your comfort zone to do something, this should make you comfortable for you. This should make it worth your while. John, this quick turnaround is pretty exciting to see a guy of your caliber back so quickly. Is this something that we might see more of? I mean, do you feel like you could you could do this again? You know, if you know, normally I, I have uh, if normally my feet are really swollen after fights, so I'm a heavy kicker. I run into a lot of things, but I fight the people who fight. So when my adrenaline comes down, I can barely walk and put on trash. Um, if that's not the case in this fight, and, and I walk away uh, unscathed, then I like to fight um, you know, every quarter. That's, that's the goal, man. As long as my body can hold up, I want to stay really active. And just really make up for lost time. I feel like my fans, uh, the few that I have left, have been so loyal, <laughs> so supporting and loving. And, uh, Get back out there and just let them wear their bone chips, the chips again, and cry to be like, you know, this is why. This is why I support them in the bad times. You know, I just want to make up and just give them a lot of content, give them a whole bunch of ah, ah moments with their friends, you know. That would be cool for me.